Yo, what's going on guys? It's Mike Reed here. Welcome back to another toy review by yours truly. So today I am back with yet another review and this time it's another Evolutions product. Thank God. You haven't read the title already? Today we are taking a look at the Bakugan Evolutions single release. In this case this is Pyrus Blitzfox. And yes, Blitzfox is a brand new character um, introduced in Evolutions. And oh boy, um... This design, I love this design. <laughs> then again, I say that for all of them, don't I? So, anyways, take a look at the box. We do, of course, have the Bakugan Evolutions logo up there. And then, of course, right here in somewhat in the center of the box here, we do have a nice CG render of Blitz Fox herself. Yes, it is a she. It does look pretty cool. Do like this design, evidently. And, of course, in the corner, we do have her name, Blitz Fox. And, of course, it is a Bakugan, obviously. And, of course, you have the bubble in the center where, of course, the figure would be displayed. And then at the bottom corner here, we do, of course, have, like, warnings and whatnot. And then, of course, you do have what's included. You get a singular Bakugan. You get two um, Baku cores, which we will be looking at in this video. And two bits of card. In this case, you get a character card and a gate card, which is pretty neat. Spinning around to the back of the box, if this thing will actually sit right. There we go. Of course, you have a CG render of the actual product itself. Of course, you get all the paperwork and whatnot included. And then, of course, you have the pop-open Baku Action subtext here with, of course, the figure popping open and a link. Well, right. Uh, or, of course, we have the Bakugan.com uh, text right there, so we can visit that. And, of course, there's the Bakugan Fan Hub, which you can download on Google Play or on the iOS App Store. If the box would like to stand properly. So, moving the box out of the way. Let's take a look at what we get in the set. And of course, we start off with the paperwork. So first off, we do get a Bakugan Evolutions pamphlet again. Kind of detailing all of the figures that are being released for Evolutions. Or at least at the time this figure came out. So you can see that. I'm not going to go through it because we've already seen this exact same pamphlet in the past. But hey... Hooray for pamphlets. So there you go. Next up, we do get two Baku cores. In this case, we get two uh, Fire Fist cores, which on the back. Bam. You have the effects right there. Pretty nice, I would say. And, of course, these are actually pretty good quality, too, because uh, here and there, sometimes the Baku cores will come bent sometimes, so just kind of be careful. Um, buyer beware so next up of course we do get the gate card it does look pretty nice from the back you know standard artwork there and you flip it around bam full artwork there of it looks like dragonoid looks like and it looks like he's being attacked by i believe that's slugler also known as shoggoth or at least that's his beta name but sometimes they forget to put his actual name there or his final name so there you go so, or is it both? Is he both Slugler and Shoggoth? I don't know. But anyway, we do have the stats right there, uh, which, or, or should I say B Power Boost right there, which of course, from top to bottom, we have 100 for Pyrus, 400 for Aquos, 200 for Ventus, 0 for Chaos, 300 for Aurelis, and 500 for Darkus. So that's pretty nice. Of course, you do have a Fire Fist Core right there in the corner. No idea why that symbol is there. But, of course, at the bottom, we do have the Y4 Gate 32 text, which, of course, means this is the 32nd Gate card released for the Bakugan reboot. So that is fantastic. And now let's take a look at the figure included, which is, of course, Pyrus Blitzfox. And the ball form is, uh, how do I say this, underwhelming? Because, yes, I do like the red, the little hint of yellow on the sides, the orange... Just just the overall sort of details on it. I wish it had a bit more of a color that kind of popped on it. Maybe like a darker red or something like that to kind of give it some more presence. But here it just looks a bit, un like I said, just a bit plain. Because you have the base red, you have the orange, you have the yellow, but nothing else. Just a bit weird. Uh, let's take a closer look at the ball form actually. As you can see, do you have a pirate symbol? Of course, it's upside down, but there it is. Of course, in a yellow color. Those look quite nice. 
Of course, you do have the sort of flame details going on here, because, of course, Blitz Fox is based on a kitsune, um, which, of course, are normally associated with fire and whatnot in mythology. So that is pretty neat. So getting the gate card out, let's take a look at what she looks like all opened up. Well, that's about what I expected. <laughs> and she does look pretty nice. Um, I do like the, the, the colors on the open form a whole lot better because uh, it's right more distributed across right the several tails on the back. Of course, we now have that nice yellow pop on the, on the ears. We do have the orange for the face, the yellow for the eyes, and that dark red for her claws on each of her four legs. So that is great. But I don't know why the dark red's only on the claws and not anywhere on the, f right? Instead of on, I don't know, the ball form, like maybe on the tips of the tails here, there could have been some dark red here and there. Maybe on the tips of these tails as well, but I don't know. But hey, it still looks pretty good. Pretty good. All things considered. So, let's take a closer look at her. Get a close up of the face there focus it does look very canine-esque as you would expect so there is that nice details going on for that of course you do have a little bit of flame details for the side of her body nice multi details for her front legs and they are spring loaded so that is pretty cool so you can kind of see they can go all the way back and then come all the way forward when it opens then of course you have the back legs which have some nice molding to them and of course do have red for the little claws there so that is great. And then of course you do have the tails as well, which again, nice paint for those. A little bit of yellow accents on these sets of tails on the side of the back. And then of course you, uh, the back side of the figure. And of course you do have the orange for the base of the tails, which does look pretty all right. And then of course we have the orange on the front and the back for the top set of tails here. So she has a total of, let's see, nine tails she has exactly nine tails on her because right this is like one two three and then they have the six here so yeah she has nine tails like a kitsune should instead of having like a crazy amount of them like some depictions have now you do have some armored alliance pegs um a peg on armor peg ports on the tails right here and right there on the other set of tails there and of course right here on her midsection so you can attach figures there, or of course you could take your Baku Nano, or sorry, Nano Gun, my bad, and peg those, uh, and peg them onto those pegs, if of course you can squeeze them in there. But there you go. So that is Blitz Fox. Now let's take a quick look at her character card. She looks like this. Looks fantastic uh, in the actual render here. Uh, with the nice fire and the uh, flame detail, sorry. Um, it almost has a metallic look for her actual body. And then, of course, that nice green for the eyes, which uh, sadly isn't on the figure. They're yellow instead of green like they should be. And neither is the gem on her chest uh, anywhere molded on the figure, which is, again, a bit of a letdown. But, uh, of course, you do have the two Fire Fist cores and 1,000 B power. Jeez, she's, like, on the same level as, like, a basic Geogon. Jeez. Um, and, of course, we do have the um, one damage there for, right, so 1,001, basically, for her stats. And then, of course, you have the fire, uh, Pyrus, sorry, symbol right there with, of course, the fire flame effects on the side. So that is nice. And then, of course, the back, standard character card backing. So now let's take a look at some comparisons. And, of course, we're going to strictly stick to evolution stuff for this video. So for our first comparison, let's bring in Genesis Warrior Whale for a comparison. And he does look pretty nice. Of course, Blitz Fox is, of course, height-wise, smaller than Warrior Whale, of course, with the exception of the top set of tails here. But still, they do look good together, I would say. Uh, of course, right, um, Blitz Fox also just, in general, is more low to the ground as well. So there is that. But I think that actually works to the figure's advantage because it makes the tails look much more, right, um, impressive, right, in their size. Almost like a, almost gives like a, how do I say it? It's like a peacock-esque feel to it with the, we have the small body, but like the large feathers on the back. In this case, it's tails, but still. 
Um, for our next comparison, let's bring in Genesis Trox. So you can see, there we go. So you can see what those two look like together. And they do look good. Um, of course, Genesis Trox has a, uh, I already mentioned this before in my initial review of the Genesis collection, but yeah, it's a, it's an interesting interpretation of the character. But still, they look pretty all right. Of course, Genesis Trox, honestly, could have benefited from maybe a more dynamic design like, like Blitzfox had here. But what we get here is still pretty all right, I would say. You can still make out what he's supposed to be, so I guess they didn't completely fail on his design. So next up, let's get out for comparison Genesis Feral. Bring him out here. Of course, got to unfold out the arms here. have to kind of move it off screen because, boy, getting those arms out could be a bit of a pain. But there you go. Kind of get the two of them there. Right, sit right there. We go. So here you have the two of them, and again, they look well about what you would expect. Obviously, Feral is right. The wingspan is much much bigger than the tails on Blitzfox here, um, but still, both of them are very much well. Feral's more uh, feline-esque in his design. Then again, he is a sphinx, so base design. As opposed to Blitzfox, who is a kitsune, which is obviously more of a canine-esque design. But hey, I think the two of them still very much work together. So, there is that. And of course, getting him closed off camera is going to be an absolute nightmare. All right, surprisingly, he cooperated. Usually, Genesis Feral gives me issues, but no. No. And for our next comparison, let's get out here Genesis Nilius. So there you have him. And they, and again, these two do look pretty good together. Obviously, colors and course of designs are vastly different. But it's aside from, of course, well, actually... They kind of have a similar-esque design in terms of the fact that they're both low to the ground and they have large tail structures on the figures. But still, I dig them. And also, something else I forgot to mention uh, in my Genesis collection review, because I didn't know this at the time, but Genesis Nilius is actually based on the speed mode of Nilius. Now, let me explain. In Bakugan Evolutions, the different uh, main character Bakugan and, what, and, and to some extent, some of the side character Bakugan and whatnot, have two different forms. You have a strength and a speed form. No idea how they work, because, again, I haven't watched the show, because, you know, kids show and whatnot, overtly kids show, and obviously I don't watch those, but, um, not anymore, anyway, um, but, right, um, they had, you had the speed mode, which is supposed to be more, obviously, more aimed on focusing on the character's speed, prowess, whatnot, and then, of course, strength mode obviously focuses on the power, and at the cost of, of course, speed and agility, so... That is kind of interesting. Now, if you're wondering if Blitzfox is affected by this, well, yes, she is, because she actually has a speed and strength mode as well. And I believe this particular Blitzfox that we get um, is based on the speed form of Blitzfox, I believe. Um, because, right... Let's see. Is this the speed mode? Yeah, this is the speed. This is based on the speed mode of Blitzfox. And then uh, the platinum version, because yes, there's a platinum version, is based on the strength mode. So yes, this is based on her speed mode. I know that's a bit confusing for people, but bear with me. So, um, right. So Nilius is, of course, based on the speed mode for that. And I believe Warrior Will's also based on... Actually, no, he's based on the strength mode. Um, and then I believe Genesis Trox is based on the speed mode. And then I believe Genesis Feral, I believe, is the... Is it the speed or the strength? I believe it's speed mode again. Yeah, so 
I know that's a bit confusing for people because now I have to specify which mode each character is based on. Um, but I'm just going to quickly double check myself here because, of course, I do have my computer next to me. So let's check and see what Genesis Feral is based on. Because I believe it is the speed mode, but yeah. I know someone's going to be quick to correct me if I do get that wrong. So let's see. So, yes, uh, Genesis Feral is based on his speed mode in the show. So, yes, I was right. It is his speed mode. So, there we go. Now, for our last two comparisons, we're going to bring in, of course, the main Genesis Bakugan. So, of course, we're going to start off with Genesis Dragonoid. So, there you have him. And uh, he selects Ventus this time. Nice. Of course, unfold his arms. There we go. So now you have these two here for comparison. And of course the differences are, well, pretty drastic. Obviously Dragonoid has a much more busier design that of course can't really be seen because clear plastic. But with Blitzvox here, she's still right. Uh, of course it's still lower to the ground and of course the larger tails. So he's so it looks like she's taller because of the tails, but if you're judging from the head, right? Um, like head to head, like literally head to head, then yes, Genesis Dragonoid is indeed taller. So, there you go. And of course, getting this guy closed up in the background is kind of a nightmare as well, because there is so much going on with this one. But, regardless, still a fun figure to have. Ah, dang it. The feet. The feet are all... There we go. There he goes. Okay. And now for our last comparison, let's get out here Genesis Wrath. Let him finish his light cycling. He picks Darkest this time. Nice to see that. And of course, as I'm unfolding him more and getting his full look, he changes to Ventus in the background. So that's interesting. So make sure he's all unfolded. There we go. And well, I mean... What do you really want me to say here? I mean, the differences are night and day with these two. Um, obviously, Genesis Wrath is an absolute titan. Then again, in the show, he is in the in the show adaptation and right in his actual monster form. Yeah, he's giant. Uh, of course, we never see his ball form in the show. Um, I'm not going to spoil why, but you don't see it in the show. So this was completely made up for the toy line. So... Um, but yes, he is giant, so obviously Blitz Fox is just this tiny, th tiny little thing next to, of course, um, <laughs> Wrath here. But yeah, those two do look pretty nice together. And Blitz Fox also reminds me a lot of um, Fenica a lot, for those who remember my Fenica review, Fenica Ultra review. She's she's very much basically evolutions adaptation or evolutions version I guess of Fenica, but I don't mind that, you know what you know because because right, uh, Fenica was based on a Fennec fox and this is obviously a Kitsune so similar but different, and of course um, this design also when I when it was first revealed initially reminded me of Lumagral. Don't know if I mentioned this in the video yet, but. For those who are wondering who Luma Growl was, Luma Growl was a character from the original Bakugan show, uh, from the second, I think it was the third season, Gundalian Invaders. Uh, he was a Gundalian Bakugan, and he was Chaos, and of course he was aligned with the Gundalians, which were the villains of the show, so obviously he was not that good of a guy, but had a very similar design in terms of having multiple different tails for his design, and was a... Right, and it was a he. And of course, here with Blitz Fox, it is a she. But though, another interesting fact, because apparently there's so many interesting facts here about this figure, is that in Japan, she actually has the genders flipped. In the Japanese version of Evolutions, uh, at, that, at that adaptation, Blitz Fox is reinterpreted as a male character. Whereas here in the internationally, and of course in the States and whatnot, she is instead, well, evidently female. Go figure. So this is another time where a Bakugan character had changed genders between the different audiences. I believe the first figure slash character to do this was Villoc in um, Geogun Rising. 
because in the right because in the international release he was male but in the japanese version it was a female so yeah there you go some food for thought but anyway so that's gonna wrap it up for this review on the bakugan evolutions single release in this featuring blitz fox or just, right, Pirates Blitz Fox. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure to drop a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new. And ring that notification bell so that way you guys get notified for all my uploads. Later, Reed Squad, and have a good one.